Hello and welcome. You are looking at the inside of an HTML editing program and you're looking at a page where you have a what you see is what you get editor or otherwise WYSIWYG and you're also looking at a page that's split between seeing the WYSIWYG code as well as the HTML code. And one of the things that you'll want to realize about editing an HTML page but using the WYSIWYG editor is that sometimes if you are not careful you can miss things and you can delete code when you really mean to just take out words. For example, if you were to treat this page like any other page with a WYSIWYG editor and you started to delete code, what you'll notice is that we could very easily delete a title tag in the process of doing some of the editing and we can change the nature and functionality of the page. And in making a deletion, we can end up seeing something like you'll see here on this page. And that's not what we really need to do. And the only way to really make sure that we're doing this the right way is to make sure that we're editing the page from inside of the code. And so you'll always want to be careful when you are using WYSIWYG editors. For example, if you were a WordPress user, you may have noticed that every page has both a visual editor where we can make changes to the text and it also has an HTML editor. And so being able to understand where the HTML is will help you to make sure that your page will come out exactly right. Because typically the appearance of a text like this can be upgraded by understanding particular HTML terms. For example, changing this text to the second heading will change the appearance. However, if we go over to the HTML side, you'll notice that there are HTML tags, one of which says H2. Again, understanding that means that we can make the appropriate changes and we can even upgrade it if we need to. For example, if we were to change this to an H1 tag, that would give a different appearance. And you'll see that here on the page. You'll also see it when you render the actual page to preview. Clicking preview, save changes. You'll see that the sizing is different. So if you make a change to an HTML page and it does not seem to be repairable, you can typically repair that change by going inside of the HTML code, understand what's happening, and then make the change within the code instead of using the WYSIWYG editor. And you'll know how to do this quickly by the end of this course. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.